हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक ऑन दिस मोस्ट चैनल गाइज आई एम राम किस थिंग यूनिटी गेम डेवलपर यूट्यूबर एंड ब्लॉगर इन दिस टूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दैट हाउ यू कैन लोड रेडी प्लेयर मी मल्टी प्लेयर एस डी के लाइक फोटोन फ्यूजन पन टू यूनिटी नेट कोड मिरर ए टी सी मीन्स हु एवर यूजिंग द प्री फेप यू कैन सी हेयर आई हैव द रेडी प्लेयर मी ऑथ आर दोज हु डोंट नो अबाउट द रेडी प्लेयर मी आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट रेडी प्लेयर मी इज अ बेस्ट एस डी के दैट प्रोवाइड द कैरेक्टर्स एंड यू कैन गेट ऑन दिस वेबसाइट यू कैन यूज फॉर गेम्स यू कैन यूज फॉर एप्लीकेशन सो नाउ डेज दे आर कस्टमाइजिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू वी आर रिक्वायरमेंट और एनी थिंग दिस विल बी यूजफुल फॉर एनी मल्टीप्लेयर थिंग नॉट द वी आर नॉट द गेम और इफ यू आर क्रिएटिंग एनी एप्लीकेशन और गेम सो यू विल बी एबल टू सेट अप योर रेडी प्लेयर मी कैरेक्टर्स दैट हाउ यू कैन लोड एट अ रन टाइम बिकॉज पीपल आर रियली कन्फ्यूज दैट दे जस्ट गेट द वन लिंक एंड देन हाउ दे कैन लोड द रिमोट प्लेयर ऑन योर लोकल प्लेयर सो यर कैन सी दैट आई एम जस्ट कस्टमाइजिंग द थिंग्स यू कैन कस्टमाइज एनी थिंग हेयर इज द माई क्लास सो लेट मी चेंज दैट आई वॉन्ट टू चेंज समथिंग डिफरेंट सो लेट मी यूज दिस वन सो हेयर कैन सी वी आर एबल टू लोड द glasses just do the next thing after the customize you can see here is the share option and here we can get the link here we can just download the we need the link here i am showing to you the demo the process will be same for all the sdk people are asking for fusion people are asking for unity net code but the process is same that you have to set up your base avatar and then you have to load your avatar and then transfer the mesh so that thing i am going to share with you this is the project from the ready player me they have provided uh, and it is on the it is on the basis of the pun 2 but the process will be same i have done on the fusion 2 so process is same so i will explain that what is the process but show you that how you can load our avatar so i have giving the url here and then just load the avatar so here we get the base model and then here we get our avatar whatever we customize there uh, just demo that how we have done so now i am going to share with you that how we can do in here but first let me explain two thing that is the customize on web so we just did the customize on web few month ago just rpm launch in unity you can just customize the thing because getting the link was difficult in the vr but on the game it was easy for the vr they have given the customize in the unity so you can get that thing so for the customize the web we just get the link and that that link we have to load i will show you that how and simply if you are doing in the unity so basically you get the id whenever you click on the save button so you have to always remember that if you are doing the save is a guest or if you have just logging so that time whatever id is getting generated at that time that id will help you to load your author basically every time whatever you will customize so uh, id will be generated so you have to always remember that if you are clicking on the save button and on the save button whatever id is getting you have to just save in player peps or anywhere that thing you have to pass to load the author next thing is that whatever version you are using of ready player me so you may be use anything so in the package or anywhere you have to search so let's suppose i am in the package you can go on the directly in the core here is the core and here is the resources and in resources we are getting this thing so let me show you so here is the player so just reset the value and uh, this is the rpm template author so this is the rpm template author we have to use this one we you cannot use this one this is the different format and these are the connected so i will explain that how so here is our player so i just drop here and here you can see we got the animator and here we are getting everything but we are not able to see the white parts what we have to do so here you can see rendered author and everything is right i left i but the important thing for us is rendered author so in rendered author two thing is missing that is the mesh and that is the material so for the mesh you have to use this one so i told you that this is the related so here is the mesh thing so here you can see we are getting the pink cause we have not material so you have to use this material or you can use the material so here we are getting the base model so whatever script you want to use so use here and you have to use one script that is the player network uh, character loader so that will be you can load on this or you can just use on this really not important but you can use any one any one place so that you have to pass the reference so let me explain a very important concept this is the our base model okay and whatever we will use the link so that will be loaded in your application but that will be not visible so whenever loading of your uh, rpm character ready player me character will done so at that time you will pass the your message to this model and after that the loaded uh, the link loaded author you have to 
just destroy so in the code let me show you and the you have to understand the concept because this is the pun to basically you have to understand the concept so that you can apply in any multiplayer so i have done on the fusion and this is on the pun to so people are asking that how we can do the fusion so basic concept is same so you have to not worry about anything so here you can see that is the very important link uh, that is the very important code so don't worry about the pun rpc set player it is not important thing it is important thing is just you are getting the url and you can get the url from the web I, as i told you that you can get from the web or you can get a id so how you can set the id as a url i will explain to you but if you are doing from the web so it is a very simple that you get all the url but if you are doing in unity so basically you have to use same link let me show you that here you, you can see that we are getting this kind of link basically this is the website link and this is the id basically what you have to do you have to keep this thing in a string variable and then you have to uh, do the means this thing from here to here you have to use the base url plus this is the id whatever you are saving on the save button plus you have to use this glb basically glb is a format so this url you have to use with the id so at that time if you are following this thing after that you will get a proper full link okay and here you can see on the link what you are doing you are just loading your your author and on author whenever it is getting completed so it is not important you if you are not going to use so that will not create problem so you can just delete you can use this part here what we are doing just whenever your author is getting load so this is the author you are getting load and after the getting load this is the target like your white target so author mess helper uh, help us to transfer the mess so basically this is the author uh, we are loading from the url and this is the game object white game object base url where we are transferring the thing after the transfer we are just deleting this author which is uh, coming from the link this thing you can use for load and one to basically everywhere like whatever sdk you are using you are getting the rpc so for the local you can use this one and for the remote basically you have to fire the rpc so that same mess is going on the remote so that other player can see whatever i have weird to this or confused about the rpc so you can just follow the tutorials of that particular sdk so that will help us you are using the pun too so basically what they are doing they are just firing the rpc and this is all buffer means if player are in the room or player joining the letter so this will be called so after that it will be get updated are using the fusion so in the fusion you have to also follow it depend on that you are using the shared mode or uh, host mode so same thing you have to do in the fusion 2 as well as you have to also do unity netcode so that is the way to do the thing and hope you get the basic idea that how you can do on the multiplayer so if you have any questions so just let me know in the comment box and hope this will help you create your multiplayer and this is my first tutorial on the ready player me if you want much more so you can ask me in the comment i will provide and i'm requesting to you that please support the channel subscribe like and you can give thanks or support me on the patreon so thanks for watching have a good day see you in next video bye bye take care